Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Today we're going to talk about the accounting equation and debits and credits and how they affect the accounting equation. So let's start with the accounting equation itself. Our accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus equity. Okay, what's an asset? An asset is something that a company has that it can use to generate future revenues. So assets are things like cash, equipment, accounts receivable, supplies, okay? All those things are things that the company has, right, or has the right to, that it will be used to generate future revenues. What's a liability? A liability is something that the company owes to someone else. This could be debt, like accounts payable or notes payable. This could also be services or product in the form of unearned revenue. So if we get paid to do work and we have not done that work yet, then we owe our customer that work. That's a liability. Equity. Equity is the owner's stake in the company. There's a couple components of equity. There is contributed capital or common stock. That's the amount that owners have put in, contributed to the company, in order for their ownership stake. There's also retained earnings. Retained earnings are all of the earnings of the company that have been kept by the company. So how do we record transactions using assets equal liabilities plus equity? Well, in accounting, you always have to make sure that this equation stays in balance. So in order to do that, in accounting, we use something called double entry accounting. Okay, you have to do a double entry because if you only do one entry, say we sell, say we sell um, a service for cash. If you only did something with assets, then your, li your equation would no longer be in balance. Okay, so that's why we use double entry. So you always have to have two parts to every entry. <clears throat> so we use a system with debits and credits. and your debits have to equal your credits. Okay, So using double entry accounting, every time you make a debit to an account, you have to make a credit to an account. Now I write it this way because we have a concept called normal balance. The normal balance in an account is a positive balance. So you'll see us use that term a lot, normal balance. And all that means is, if the account has a positive balance, would we debit the account or credit the account? Okay. So for assets, okay, when an asset increases, you're going to debit the account. Okay. The way that I remember this is, think of your debit card. Your debit card is linked to your bank account, right? and that links things to, that's cash, okay, so your debit card is linked to assets, so you're going to debit an asset when it increases. When the account decreases, you're going to credit the account, okay. <clears throat> With liabilities, think of a credit card. What is a credit card? A credit card is a debt, right? When you use your credit card, you increase your debt. So when a liability or equity increases, you're going to credit the account. When a liability or equity decreases, you're going to debit the account. Okay, now, there are a couple accounts that are tricky. Okay, those accounts 
are called contra accounts. Okay. A contra account works the opposite way that a normal account of that class would. So, for example, one contra account that we see all the time, we see this one a lot, is accumulated depreciation. Okay, what's accumulated depreciation? Accumulated depreciation is all of the depreciation expense that we've taken on our assets that we've added up over a period of time. Accumulated depreciation is linked to a fixed asset account like equipment or vehicles. So this is a contra asset because it's linked to an asset account but the purpose of accumulated depreciation is to show a decrease to show the value of your equipment going down as you're using it up. Okay, so accumulated depreciation would work the opposite way. So for accumulated depreciation, if you wanted it to increase, you would credit the account. And if you wanted it to decrease, you would debit the account. Okay. Another contra account that we see a lot is owner's draw. Okay, owner's draw is a contra equity account. So when owners take money out of the company, it decreases their equity. So being a contra equity account, when the account increases, we debit the account, and when it decreases, we credit the account. Okay, so a contra account always works the opposite way of your regular balance accounts.